Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Today's clip is taken from the Sistema Auckland session at our recent summer camp. The instructor Lauren is a former police officer and uh, studied quite intently the nature of stress and how it manifests in our body, how it affects our behaviour and our actions and also ways that we can learn to control it. His group worked quite heavily with breathing techniques to learn to control stresses and our reactions to stresses and the uh, effects it has on our body. And in this session, you can see we start off with some fairly easy relaxation and uh, muscle contraction exercises, and it gradually builds up towards the end of the class where we're literally beating seven bells of whatnot out of each other. <laughs> This is the full class. Um, I hope you find this interesting. It was, it was great fun to do. As always, smash the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and enjoy the clip. Good having me out. Um, now you guys you got a pretty full on weekend here. Um, uh, my objective here is, is not to come and layer in any more technique than you've got heaps to work with already. What we're gonna work, start to work into is um, how we can develop a little bit of stress into your body and so you can start to see what it's doing to yourselves, okay? Um, there's a couple different ways that we approach that in Sistema. Um, most of the time we're gonna do it with using breath holds. A breath hold um, simulates uh, uh, the natural physiological changes that will happen when you're in confrontation, okay? High, your blood pressure goes up. You start to tense up, we start to go into a mode where we're, we've got a sense that we're trying to guard ourselves, which is all, all well and good. Um, but we can't let that sensation of that, that guarding and protectiveness um, interrupt our ability to function and uh, look for options and opportunities to get ourselves out from underneath that stress. Okay, so we don't want to keep locking ourselves and locking ourselves and locking ourselves as we kind of um, curl up into little balls when the stress comes on. With Sistema, we're looking to do the opposite. We want to feel stress and figure out ways to, to free ourselves, even though the stress is still present. Um, there's some really nice demonstrations from um, my teacher, is uh, Vladimir Vasiliev over in uh, Toronto. Um, he'll be doing demonstrations against multiple people. Um, he looks pretty cool and calm, but at the end he'll often go, Phew, um, because he was under a lot of stress at the time, but he's trying not to show it, okay? If we're showing stress to the person we're working against or uh, in a confrontation, um, it's something that people will feed on, okay? It's like we become prey to them. They become the predators, we become prey. And the more we sit in kind of that, the, the prey mentality, um, uh, it become, becomes very problematic because it becomes hard to switch and become a predator, okay? Um, some of us have that in us naturally, some of us, we, I'm not like that at all, so it takes, it's taken time for me to develop that part of my, my psyche and my kind of the physicalness of what is um, required at certain times. Something that I was, uh, I'm an ex-police officer, so I, get, I got to um, look at that kind of in a, in a live um, dynamic, if you will, okay? Obviously there are restraints within civility and of the law and things like that that we're not looking to um, disregard um, even though you may be um, and let's hope it doesn't happen too often that you have to actually apply what you've been learning here in terms of um, self-defense situation um, there are responsibilities that we have not only to ourselves and to our family or our friends that we're trying to protect but also to the person that is being problematic okay so we might touch a little bit into that again but in the beginning here look I'm gonna get you into your body a little bit going to go through a little bit of breath work and I'm going to show you a couple ways that maybe you can start to bring um, into your own clubs uh, getting hands on to, with each other in a practical sense of trying to bring some stress into each other okay um, for the beginning what we'll do is um, you're going to spread out in your own in your own little space you're going to lay on your backs okay nice relaxed position here and what you're going to do for me is you're going to start to breathe nice and naturally you're going to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth okay laying on your backs and what I'd like you to do is you're going to start with the top of your head and you're going to do like a, an analysis of your body. You're going to go down through, start with your neck, your shoulders, down through your arms, back into your torso, down into your hips, down into your legs and into your feet. You're just paying attention to are there places in your body that feel like they're tight? 
that are holding stress or um, you feel pretty loose. You've had a pretty, you've had a couple good sessions this morning um, and you're feeling pretty good and loose. If you find any places that are kind of problematic, for me, it's my lower back, usually my shoulders a little bit, move them around a little bit, get them moving and shaking up, okay? And you're inhaling, drawing into your belly as best as possible. Exhale and relax. Okay, just a few breaths here. We want to spend too much time on this, so we know you want to, you're here for a bit of a martial arts uh, weekend, so we're going to let you get your hands on each other pretty quickly here. Okay. Alrighty, when you're ready to, on those inhales, you're going to start to bring tension into your body. You can take that tension to an extreme if you want to, where you're starting to kind of pull things off the ground or get shaking going on through your body. On the exhale, you're going to release all that tension. Okay, so inhaling, bring tension into your body. You should see your toes coming up, see your fists firing off. That's it. Exhale and relax. That's it. Start to pay attention to the parts of your body that don't want to play ball here, that are hard to engage. That's it. Start putting your mind into those places. If you're having troubles firing off your hamstrings, or it could be um, maybe your forearms not kicking off properly. Okay. Good. On the next exhale, relax your body. Keep breathing. Shake your bodies out a little bit. You need to move your legs around, lift your arms up, and drop them down a little bit, soften out. Now we're gonna, if you uh, just sit yourselves up a little bit. On the next round here, you're inhaling and you're pulling yourself right up off the ground here. So you're engaging through your core. You're trying to keep things relatively loose on the exhales. Relax back down. On the inhale, coming up, find that, that balancing point. On the exhale, relax down. Uh, and tension check yourselves at the top of that movement. Make sure the tension is where we want it, which is in your core and your hip flexors. Should be in your toes, shouldn't be in your hands. If you can, start washing it out of your shoulders a little bit, moving things around a bit. Cool, next time you're up, you're gonna stay up. And you're gonna start to see what kind of movement you can get going here. Can you start to give yourself a bit of goal? I'm gonna try and walk myself over to the other side of the gym? Or can I walk backwards here? Can I start to turn myself? Okay. Some people will do a little bit of hopping. And all the time, while all this is happening, you're trying to keep whatever you can loose. All right, have a go. So it's like you're trying to pretend that your, your bum, for lack of a better word here, are, is your feet now. So you gotta tip onto one side, move the other cheek, push it down into the ground, push it into the ground so you can free up the other one, just like you do with your feet. So this is all great conditioning for your core. We often do quite a bit of this before we do a big striking session, making sure things are kicking off properly. So your, your core is strong. A few more times. You should be able to get, um, and look, it's not as, free as your legs, but you should be able to, over time, get somewhere. So this is great for groundwork. If you're thinking about jujitsu and whatnot, it's all based in hips and your spine. Turn yourselves over. Whether you're using your palms or your fists is up to you. You're leaving your knees on the ground. Now stretch all of that out. Let your hips sink down towards the ground here. You're nice and tall in your spine and pushing your, your spine up towards the um, ceiling. If you want to add into it, you can start to look over your shoulder. Breathing, relaxing. With each exhale, it's like you're telling anything that feels like it's holding on here, just let go and relax. This is especially important for us older fellows here. Okay, or people that are spending a lot of time, you know, maybe it's your job, you're sitting a lot or you're driving a lot. These muscles here are very problematic. Okay, they get shortened up and they get very, very strong. Okay, we need to open them up. We should be doing this every day. And if you want to, bring yourself back, sitting down on your heels, stretching your hands forward, trying to get your body nice and low. It's gonna stretch out your lower back here. Breathing, 10 breaths if you can. Movement drill, down. Down to the ground.
back to your feet. Okay, you're trying to do that a little bit differently each time. Your arm coming down to the side of your body. The back of your body. Or onto the front of your body. Good. You time to. Because we spend a lot of our lives within with intention, don't be afraid in these contexts to take yourself to an extreme of relaxation. You're really letting go once you're down on the ground. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come back up if you can. Breathing all the time. Start paying attention to if there's it feels like there's gaps or holes in your movement. You get to a certain spot and you're like stuck there. Okay? And you're trying to smooth out those places. Cool. And the young fellow's right onto it here. You're gonna do the same thing without using your hands. Okay, you're gonna get down to the ground without using your hands. You're gonna get back up without using your hands to help you. Okay. And the reason we don't want your hands on the ground is because if I put my hand on the ground and I'm posting myself, my, my joints are vulnerable to destruction, whether that's from me falling onto them, crunch, or me putting weight onto them, someone tell me to affect my joints here. Okay? Also, I want to have access to my hands this whole time so I can use them scooping legs, hitting, da, 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 all the way through that transition. I don't want them engaged in the ground here. That means I'm two weapons down, or one weapon down. Here, got access to all that. Okay, a few more times. And try and be adventurous with your movement. Try not to get to locked into the same pattern all the time. Okay? So sometimes it's, um, you're keeping your feet very close together, maybe. Or sometimes you're trying to spread them apart. Maybe sometimes you are twisting yourself. You can turn yourself here, okay? Maybe it's use you, using one leg to get yourself to. Um, Try not to rewind the tape, which means if I go down this way, I don't want to come back up the same way, okay? Because I'm imagining that I've been pushed to the ground or hit to the ground, boom. Why on earth would I want to come back up and have that all happen again, boom. So I get hit and pushed down, boom. So I'm moving off to a different space. Okay, here we go. Again, a little bit more relaxation here. On the front of your body, you're gonna put your hands behind your back here. And your job is to move. Forward, backwards. You kind of turn yourself. You can use your shoulders and your legs together. So you can propel yourself with your feet, digging into the floor. That's it. If you're very comfortable going forward, um, don't focus on that. Go backwards and turn yourself. Okay? You should be heading into the movement that feels restrictive. And maybe you give yourself a bit of a goal. I'm going to try and get and move past two, two floor mats or a floor mat. And try and get out of the floor mat my, that I'm currently in here. Yeah. yeah, good. Okay, so we'll make this a little harder for you. We're doing pretty well here. Now you're holding on to your feet, okay? If you can't get both, hold of both feet here, relax one of them and hold on to one of them. Whether it's on the same side here, or you're starting to reach over. Can you move? Can you turn your Can I move towards my head? Can I move towards my knees? Let's have a go. <laughs> have fun. Just like with everything else in life, um, to solve an issue, we have to, we have to acknowledge that it's there. Are, are you holding your breath to try and get some kind of power going? Okay. We think we're getting power there, but we're not. Okay. Imagine like your breath is, it's the engine of the train. Our breath pulls everything else along. One of our old instructors um, was talking about the battlefield one day. He said, he said, um, look, you can get injured. You, can, you know, worse comes to worse, you can, lose, you can lose your arm, you can lose your leg. But you can still function at some degree and get through that and survive it. 
you cut off your breathing, you're, you're pretty done within a short period of time. So breathe, breathe, a little bit longer. That's it. And if you're really tricky, maybe you can see if you can turn yourself over. Feel where that stress is going in your body. Is it focusing on your breathing? Is it your endurance here that's failing you? Are you starting to lock up and fight against that kind of position here? Okay. Start shaking those places up. Let them go. That tension you're developing there is, is useless. Get rid of it. All of this is a burden. We love, for whatever reason, we love to burden around tension. We do it all day. As a massage therapist, that's all I see in and out of the clinic. People coming in under tension. Some of it's because of too much activity, but most times because of inactivity. So we're going to do a couple push-ups. Nothing too extreme. But what you're looking to do here, you're going to be nice and relaxed on the ground. Okay, so your body's pretty soft here. But as you come up through your push-up here, so soft, soft, soft. Now I'm starting to resist myself, and I'm starting to actually load in tension. I want to be very, very tense at the top of my movement here. Okay? I'm breathing nice and normally, even though I've, I've locked in this tension. And I'm trying to spread that tension through my body, so there's no places that are kind of missing out here. And as I release myself down nice and slowly, it's like I'm softening my body. You're relaxing down on the ground. Okay? So soft, soft, soft. Now I'm resisting. So it's, all, it's almost like you're fighting yourself to get to the top of this. Okay. So you're giving yourself a goal, a goal, and even though it's problematic and there's stress and pressure coming into your body, you're saying, I'm going to get to the top of this push-up. Okay? In the beginning, obviously, this is, this is probably a new thing concept to you. Don't worry about it being, you know, you're not looking for 100% tension at the, at the top here. And do it to a place that you can do a few of these and not come out of it too worse off. But again, relaxation on the ground. If you're pushing yourself up, you're starting to get tense. Ooh. On the way back down, hold that tension, then you're starting to release it nice and soft. Let this up, you need to ground. Okay, a few times, breathing all the time. I'm looking to crank out 50 of these. If you do this right, you should be maybe get through four or five of them. Okay, because you're loading tension in your body. So the, again, the, the part of the diagnostic tool we're looking at here is what places in your body will come on board with that tension, what places will not. As you're letting the tension go, what places will still want to hold on, even though you're saying, let go, let go, let go. These may be places you want to start stretching out quite a bit. I'll show you the drill for the next one. And it's pretty simple, it's the same thing, but now we just reverse the spaces here, okay? So at the bottom, I'm very tense. Everything is locked up. As I push myself up, I start relaxing my body. So at the top, I'm very loose, respective of what we're trying to do here, okay? There still needs to be form and structure here to hold myself up, but do I have to be fully tense here? No, look, I can soften things up here and still hold myself at the top here. On the way back down, as you're, you're loose at the top, by the end of it, you're fighting yourself to get down to the ground. All right. Sit up, kind of in this position. We are looking for a nice straight back. Your, your, chin is chucked, uh, uh, your chin is tucked in a little bit. On the way down, starting to loosen yourself, nice and soft. So a good way to do it is as you're coming up here, it's like you're moving yourself, but then there's resistance starting to happen. Okay, let's have a go. Okay. Thank you. you can work from your knees here. Okay, if you're looking for your, if you were looking to push yourself a little bit, you're working in a push-up position. He's gonna relax himself down. His job is to relax and accept here. As you come up, you start to walk your hands around the body. Okay. He, uh, when we say relax, that means um, you're not getting more and more tense. That doesn't mean that you need to let everything in here like a softball mitt and accept it. He can put some back pressure here if he wants to, if that makes him comfortable. Okay. I can work at the top of the push-up the whole way. I can start to... This is always great after lunch. Uh -huh. 
His job as I'm doing that is to start to acknowledge, look, he looked pretty comfortable up through here. If we notice the reaction in his body as I come down through his legs, he's starting to go, oh, I don't know if I like this, okay? That's fine, acknowledge it, it's there, there's discomfort there. There might be, need to mean that he needs to get in here and start stretching and foam rolling this so it gets used to a bit of content, okay? Um, but wherever you're feeling that tension, if he's feeling it here, he keeps it there. He doesn't bring it in here. You shouldn't see his shoulders coming up or his hands going into fists because that tension is starting to infest his body. He's trying to keep it where it is, okay? So you can work from your knees here, work from one knee, both knees, or like I was doing, up in that push-up position, okay? Let's have a go. Martin, we're not saying that this is a holiday. Yeah. Look, I'm struggling just like everybody else, okay? I'm starting to tell myself, you know, I'm acknowledging it. Am I getting tense from this? So, this is the basic setup here. He starts to walk his hands a little bit. But as he goes, I start to move my body. Okay? I'm working at a speed that will allow him to find support on me. Maybe I just turn myself over. I want to start to see if I can sit myself up. So now we're talking about a bit of structure. How do I give him a structure that will help him stay where he is? Can I keep working? Can I get myself up to my knees? Can I find an equilibrium with him and get up to my feet? And back down to the ground. Good. That's it. But I'm moving with him. I'm not trying to escape from him. He shouldn't fall off of me at any time. Nothing changes with the drill itself, except that when you bring your hands onto them, you just, there's a little bit of impact happening. So now we're starting to simulate striking. I'm still looking for support on him. I'm walking my hands here. He's looking to see where he can give me support. Where does he need tension in his body here? Where can he let it go? Okay, so you're just bringing a little bit of weight with each step. It's like you, some of the guys at class, we'd be working like that with them. Okay, they, they, they would work progressively with them, step by step by step. And what we usually do to set this up, this is not about me. This is about sand. So you'd be checking in, you'd say, okay, is this pressure enough? Is it enough for you? He might say, oh yes, I think you're about the right level. Maybe it's too much, okay, you're gonna back it down. Hopefully you're saying, oh, I think I can withstand a little more, bring a bit more pressure into me. Alrighty, same partners, let's have a go. And as the challenge gets more, he should be telling himself he needs to relax more. So that his relaxation travels with the challenge. Okay, so we're not frying out his system to where he's just getting more and more tense and his nervous system so wrapped up that it's very hard to bring him back down. Okay, so nice and progressively, look at their bodies, pay attention to their breathing. Are they holding their breath? And do they have a smooth breath here? Okay, if they do, that's kind of a clue that you can start putting a little bit more pressure through them. So this time, um, as you're working with your partner, I want you starting to dialogue it through. Um, yeah, you keep up there. Yep. More. More. He's getting to experience um, a bit of actually putting a bit of power into his strikes. This is individual work here. Okay, I've done a big a big leap from what you guys are just working on. It may be um, sometimes we have the guys and gals use a number system where you say. He comes down and he starts slicing lightly. And I say, oh, I feel like I'm on a two, okay? I want to be on a five. And so you're going to dial me up to a five. And that's a good five there. <laughs> up to a six. More. More.
I'm always tension checking. When I stop liking it, he's been hitting me here. I don't tell him to stop hitting me. I go, I'm going to move that, pa that place away from him. So he has to hit me somewhere different. Okay? Again, you're, you're dialoguing through your needs. Okay? If I get to a point where he's going to work himself up here. More. Look at me. I'm starting to get tense here. Actively telling myself to let go and relax. The more tension I start pulling into my body as he's hitting me, the worse it feels. Okay? So I want to let that go. Okay? Take your time with this. The true dynamic of this drill and the purpose of it is start to develop a communication between yourself and your partner. Figure out what you want from this in terms of how much pressure, how much intent you can receive from them. Okay? And start to explain that to your partner. Okay? We want to push ourselves out of our boundaries, but we don't have to do this. <clears throat> Where you're going up to a, a space that's so gnarly that all you're doing is getting more and more tense. It's like you're finding your comfort there. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable there. Okay, I'm going to have him dial it up a little bit. If I keep doing that over time, sooner or later I'll be up here. Okay? But it's a, pro it's a process. Okay? It ain't going to we're going to do the same thing standing. Okay? So. But I want to see if I can work up to a space where he makes a decision that he wants to stand away from me. <laughs> okay? It's up to him. Now, what he's, did, he's done that really nicely. He walks away from me when he's had enough. I don't make the decision for him when it's round two and chase after him. I wait till he's made the decision to come back to me. Okay, and I think he's, he's readied himself. I start working around his body a little bit. I start on the slow end, the lighter end. And as we go, I start to ratchet up the pressure a little bit. Okay? You should work right around the body a bit. Just watch, I'm hitting into the kidneys. We're going easy on those because they're nice, they're very delicate. But I can work up into his shoulders. I'm trying to stay away from the bony bits of his body. Do one more time when he's ready. Sometimes in class we'll have that process take five minutes. Yeah? We're short on time here, so we're going to see if we can make that a little bit shorter. <laughs> okay. Look, he's coming back to me. He's dealing with it. He's shaking himself out. When he's ready to, he'll put himself back into a space where I can get my hands on him. Okay? And now we're playing around with his assumptions about what's going to happen. So he would have thought that we're going to go for another nice big blast there. But we didn't. I walked up to him and just put my hands on him. So we're starting to play around with a bit of psychology about what he's expecting to happen. Maybe it's just out of the blue book in my mind. Okay? We're working kind of torso. Obviously, with women, you're not hitting into each other's breasts and things like that, moving around the back of the body here. Do one more. Come Come Go. I'm playing around with him a little bit here. I'm not automatically just going backwards all the time. I'm starting to work into his psychology and start to drop him down a couple pegs because he's laying in some really nice hits to me. But through my actions, and I'm starting to press forward, I'm saying, I don't care. Yeah. I care on a base level because I want to be taken care of and whatnot. But we have to get past the, the idea that every time someone hits us, we're like, oh, I want, I want to have that stay away from me. Because all it's going to mean is that he's going to come chasing after me. So if I can't, I move towards him so I can get my hands on him. So I can solve the problem of him hitting me. But if I'm always going into this little box where I want him to stay away from me, because well, it hurts and doesn't feel good, okay? Um, all he's gonna do is bring punishment to me. But if I can, yeah. 
Good. Get me. Get rid of me. Nice. Yeah, I shake you out. I'm not worse for wear. Obviously, it's not uncomfortable, but it's not locking me up. Okay? You're talking each other through that. Now, if you're not up for that, work softly with the I'm gonna have to be desk on four here. That may be enough to get rid of them. Make them want to step away. Good, that's really nice. So he's coming into me, I'm gonna push him away. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, you stay the same partner, same job. Let's go. Good. 